Assalamu alaikum, greetings and peace. We are back in Orlando, and if some of you don't remember, we had an interview, a very nice young man by the name of Chris. He's a security guard at the local Jamia Masjid here, and we talked to him, and we cleared up some misconceptions. We had a great time, and he's still here working, so we're gonna go ahead and follow up with him, see how he's doing. If you haven't seen that interview that we did with him, you can go ahead, we'll have it in the description below. Let's follow up with Chris and see what he's up to. All right, let's go hook up with the security guard. Chris comes from a Christian background and many sincere, genuine Christians out there who've been misled by the media, the false hype, but he got to connect because he's doing the security guard work here with a lot of Muslims, he made the human connection and he was also motivating people to connect with the Muslims and uh, here he is, Chris! Hey, what's going on How guys? You, you remember this friendly face? Yeah! <laughs> How time flies! When was it, about a year ago I was out here? We had yeah, nice about, about a year man, yeah. it's been a long long time since I've seen you man! Did you get some feedback from the interview we did? Then? Yes, I got a lot of feedback from the school, from the masjid, everything like that. Yeah, a bunch of teachers, they actually liked yeah? it out there. Yeah, it was pretty fun, I liked it a lot. Uh -huh. um, some of the things that I just noticed is that his YouTube channel is literally connecting and hitting with everyone on the basically social media scale. You had a positive feedback from many people. I know that. Yeah, positive feedback. It uh, was awesome, man. Uh, t tell me what else has been new since the last time we've uh, we spoke. And well, a lot, a, a lot, a lot of the things. Um, time has basically come. Basically, uh, that a lot of things get make make you busy. I would say so. You just gotta be time oriented, and a lot of things that um. I forgot, forgot what your name is again. Eddie. Eddie, Eddie. He came up to me, you know, he's basically sharing his faith with me. And the thing is, he's just sharing a mess of, po of positivity. And because of that, you know, I took that into the entire year. And I just not let stress get to me. You know, you got to be positive and stay as positive as you possibly can. I remember last time we talked about, you know, the simple message of what what Islam is about. We, mm -hmm. went, we went over that, the oneness of God. Right. That God Almighty sent messengers. They all came with the same message, worship the creator, not the creation. Exactly. Th this life is a test. We're being tested each and every day. Each and every day. And then from here, we go on, we move on, and it's either the reward, paradise, hellfire. This is what Jesus brought, the same message, mm -hmm. Moses, Abraham. They all brought that same consistent message because the creator, he's not the author of confusion. It was always that same message. But now there's a lot of obstacles. Why? Because many people, they start to, and we, I think we touched upon that. Mm -hmm. You'll hear the media, all oh, Muslims are terrorists. Oh, they oppress their women. Did we touch upon those basic things? Yeah, yeah. Last last time we definitely touched upon the things. Um, he brought up a, a, a lot of things that people are trying to, uh, how would I say, uh, basically construe the message of the media. and. Um, Whatever the media you guys telling you, listen, if they're not a part of the actual place, I wouldn't even listen to the media outlet. If someone's trying to make a message about a particular belief or a particular um, country or nation, and they're not even from the place, they're published a whole overseas, you know, they're not really getting the, the exact message that they're trying to portray. And I think that um, most of the time, people, they like to make gossip. You know, that's one thing you're not supposed to get into. Don't try to gossip. Don't try to make up ideas and stories that you're not supposed to because these guys are completely different. They're doing the exact opposite that the media is trying to portray them as. That's deep, man. And you're getting to hear from a Christian, right? Mm -hmm. Christian background, uh, Chris. And he has been spending a lot of time here as a security guard protecting the masjid, the mosque. And it's unfortunate that we'd have to, this was some time not too long ago where there was no such thing as like security guards mm -hmm. at mosques and it's unfortunate that we have that today. So we clear up a lot of the junk that's thrown out there. We, we, we look at this way of life as, as a treasure. It's right. a treasure for all of humanity and now there's a lot of junk thrown on it. You got to dig a little bit and these misconceptions that are out there, a lot of the hype things out of context, you clear them out of the way and then you come to you know what we're really trying to to espouse and trying to relate to people is to really think okay where did i come from this is something that really every human being should think about where did i come from why am i here and where am i going when i leave this earth Do i just fall asleep <laughs> and that's it it's done no no a whole new world opens up so that's like the first place that we have people start to really reflect like what's the purpose of life why am I here and the Dean show really helps to articulate that message you know and try to bring 
that to the people and then you have a free choice either to accept if you like what we have to say accept it mm -hmm. if not reject it but at the end of the day and we always Correct. motivate people to ask the creator alone for guidance right there's an authentic tradition by a uh, prophetic statement by the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad where he said that God is saying that uh, all of my slaves meaning God is slaying all of my slaves meaning mankind humans everything that God created like from the human beings are misguided except if I guide them God is saying this so ask me of my guidance mm -hmm. so God is saying ask me so this is this is like the basic place where we ask people to start is that we ask earnestly the Creator alone to guide us you ask the Creator why am I here what's my purpose and then be courageous enough when the tr shirt the truth comes right to accept it to look into it you know and be genuine and sincere so these, this is the kind of message that we get out there and at the end of the day if a person doesn't want to accept that, we at least you see every it's every Muslim's duty to share, right? Right. To definitely. give that in, in, invitation, but then at the end, it's up to that person. It's between them and God. We cannot force someone, right. coerce someone. Right. That's between them and God. But it's our duty just to share, and then be of noble character, right. good manners, and represent Islam as it should be represented, not as some you know fringe element that's out there. Exactly. And then what they do is the media goes and highlights them right. as if they represent Muslims and Islam. Exactly. Right? And a another thing that I definitely want to touch on and listen I've been working here a long 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 time you know so um I could definitely um, validify what this um brother Dean is saying um that they don't like to force anything on anyone they're not trying to go up to you and, and, and trying to do this or that you know they're they're not doing that they're they're messengers of peace all they want to do is just if you want it if you if you if you have the faith you know what I mean uh, of a little mustard seed faith of anything so small that you want to grow into it they're trying to preach to you they're trying to talk to you like listen hey we got this thing that you might find you know that it might actually help you out whatever you're feeling you know they're trying to to, to help the, the the bad out of people they're trying to help the the lost souls of people you know i see a lot of people walking with their heads down heads into the social media not paying attention to the entire world and i see a couple people coming up you know a lot of people from the street and some of the people from the masjid going up to them and just saying hey man would you like to come inside and they're just basically trying to enforce their themselves trying trying to how would I say um bridge that gap that they're, they're 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 missing in their life and i've seen a lot of people come to the masjid and got converted you know in this entire year and i like it a lot it's it's, it's awesome you know seeing somebody so happy so blessed um i think i've seen three so far so it's it's a good thing you know what <laughs> you know what, what 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 we say is when someone accepts and i don't, I don't know if you remember from mm -hmm. last time uh, Islam simply means to submit right. your will to the will of God Almighty, the Creator. Correct. And we talked about, you know, in Arabic we say Allah. In Aramaic, the language Jesus spoke, he would say Allah, Eloh, Elohim. This is the Semitic language. Right, right. Because the English language did not exist at that time. It Je didn't, Jesus it didn't. didn't speak English. His name wasn't even Jesus. There, were, there was no English language. So we call him Isa. Now, what happens is when someone says, okay, I want to worship the Creator. Let's say you put sticks and stones and bones. You say, I don't want to worship them. You put a human being, you put animals. They say, I don't want to worship any of that. Then you put the sun and, and Mother Nature, some call it. All of the inanimate things, inanimate things. Exactly. You say, I don't want to worship any of that. And then the person is offered the concept of there's one verse in the Quran where God Almighty is saying of himself. He says, Qul hu Allahu ahad. Notice, I'm not Arab. Mm -hmm. But we have the language of the Quran memorized by millions and millions and millions that's how it's been preserved so I'm wow. it, it, it just imagine if you're uh, able to speak or recite something of the original language that Jesus spoke mm -hmm. right so I make this side note so I'm re reciting in its original language even though I'm not Arab mm -hmm. I'm an American citizen wow. ba Bosnian background that's awesome. so God Almighty is saying Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam ahad. Say he is God, the one and only, the absolute, the eternal. He's not the father of anyone, nor was he father. And there's nothing comparable to God Almighty. Mm -hmm. You see? So when someone says, you know what? That's the concept of the Creator that I resonate with. It connects with my heart and soul. I want to worship the Creator. Not how I desire, but how he sent through the messengers. Wow. And we say the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And many people don't know, when you accept Muhammad, you accept automatically Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and all the preceding messages, automatically. Because wow. they were brothers in faith. They all brought Islam, submission to the Creator, not the creation. Now, if someone does that, we say he reverts back. He comes back. Everyone was born in a natural state of submitting to the Creator. Grows up, his, his parents take him away, and he becomes the religion of his parents, his forefathers. 
when he comes back to the pure natural way, he reverts back to submission and surrender to the creator of the heavens and earth. So we say someone came back to their original way. Wow. Uh, that's, how, that, that, that's, that, that's definitely sounds like a makes message. Sense? That, that definitely sounds like a message of peace to me. You know? yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, that's not even covered from my words. It's just if he if, if what this man is speaking, Brother Dean, is, is speaking is the truth, then that's definitely a message of peace. And I could definitely love to see see it grow more, you know. Yeah. It's just it's just a, 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 a thing where you're trying to make sure that you want to spread positivity and love. And right now, that's all I'm seeing. You know, I can't definitely try to construe anything. I can't say anything from my mind. If that's the truth, then that's definitely a message of peace. So if you're out there, if our brother Chris, anybody who wants to learn more about Muslims and Islam, they can come here to this mosque also. Oh, yeah. You'll see a welcoming face. This is here in, in Orlando. Orlando, Florida. The, the Jamia Masjid. Come on, stop on in. Hook up with the Muslim community here. Learn more. You can even call us 1-800-662-ISLAM. How you make the connection. You connect. You come to the source, to the Muslims to learn. And we got our friend here, Chris, who's also a friendly face that you, you've recognized from the last program we did. And again, the message is for all. It's a universal, it's a, it's a holistic way of life for all of mankind. The invitation is there. You can accept or reject it. But at the end of the day, we can face the reality that we're all on this earth and we're going to have to live here together. And it's better to love instead of hate. And Islam says, Islam says, love all mankind. That's why we're sharing this message. Any last closing words and comments? Uh. I don't have anything at the I, moment. I, you know what? <laughs> you got it. For your mind to work, as a wise man said, it has to be open like a parachute. Exactly. And you, and you see, at the end of the day, you see a nice brother like this here, Chris. His mind is open. You can see that he's not full of this rage and hate. You have mm -hmm. a lot of people out there who are just ex exorbitant. They're, they're, they're pushing so much Against. horsepower mm -hmm. into the hate. And, and that's not going to get you anywhere. Definitely not. Spread a message of positivity, guys. You guys want to come on, hang on out. You know, I'm here to talk to you guys, take you guys where you need to go, you know, and send you to the right direction where you guys want to head out to. But other than that, have a good one. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Dean Show. And that was our brother in humanity, Chris. And it's very nice to to talk to and communicate with, with, with such nice people like Chris, open mind. And, and that's what it's about. At the end of the day, it's the Creator, God Almighty Allah, who guides the hearts. But it's on us just to share. So we go ahead and, 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 and did our part. We shared the message. At the end, we give the invitation. If someone wants to accept, they accept. If it makes sense to them, everything we're saying, they accept it. If not, you reject it, you move on. It doesn't mean we have to hate each other, curse each other, do all sorts of crazy and belligerent things. No. And you still continue to, to be good to people. You still continue to be, have upright conduct good manners, good morals, good ethics, you deal justly. That's the legacy that Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, left behind for every Muslim. And at the end of the day, we're fulfilling our obligation where Allah tells us in the Quran, Udu ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati. Invite all to the way of your Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching. And at the end of the day, be of good character, good manners. And from there, you lead the rest to the Creator as Allah as the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, told us, convey for me, even if it's one ayah. And imagine if everybody shared. If we were on that footing of good character and people saw us being true ambassadors to this way of life, to Islam. And at the end of the day, remember, you got to link it back to the sponsor. Because people are going to think like, oh, hey, these people got civilized. They came over here and now we taught them how to act upright. No. It's because we live by the Quran, the verbatim word of God. We live by the example of the last and final messenger sent to mankind, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, and all the other messengers, Jesus being one of the greatest. We follow their example. And that's what teaches us to be of the best noble character, is this deen, Islam. It's for you, it's for everyone. Accept it or reject it, it's up to you. And then it's between you and the Creator. Thank you very much, and I'd like to end all the cute confusion with this, because many people they also get confused. What's the right way? I'll just follow my way. The Creator tells us in, tells us in the Quran, Whoever chooses other than submission and surrender to the Creator of the heavens and the earth, Allah, as their way of life, as their deen, this is in one word summed up Islam, never will it be accepted of them. And then the hereafter, they'll be among the losers. So this is what we believe fully. 
that Jesus taught Islam. He called people to submit their will to the Creator. So did Moses. And the last and final messenger sent to mankind, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. The one who accepts this, lives by it, benefits themselves, their family, and humanity by it, obeys their Creator, follows all the injunctions, peacefully, submissively, makes mistakes. God Almighty is the most loving, the most merciful. You're going to make mistakes, but you continue on striving. At the end of the day, God is the most forgiving. But you die on this way of life, living it to your full potential, you got Jenna paradise. Turn away, follow your desires. All the messengers of God warn the people of the hellfire if they do that. That's that carrot and the stick, the reward and punishment. It's not all the same for everyone. We can understand it in worldly things, but what about the ultimate justice with the Creator and His love? Stay tuned in. We're going to bring you what looks like a part of Italy, doesn't it? Beautiful. Alhamdulillah, look at that. But are we actually in Italy? Check us out, the Dean Show. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Brian. If you haven't heard about the Dean Show, now you have. Tune in every week, new show. And in between, we give you some nice gems every week. The Dean Show, if you're not catching us on the local cable station in Chicago or on the satellite channels, you can go ahead and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel where if you subscribe, you're not gonna miss out on all the new and exciting shows that we have coming out just for you. Peace, salam alaikum. You'll look us up at the Dean Show. Oh, cool. Nice meeting you. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Thank you. Thank you. Some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you want to roll? You want to roll? I'm what a blue belt, let's go. Let's, let's go. You want to, should we do it? Let's do let's it. Go let's ahead go. Ahead. Go. <laughs> it reminds me of when you come into this Dean, this beautiful way of life, there are things in the culture that are good, and there's other things that we need to be cognizant of that go against the pure monotheism. For instance, you might have been accustomed to coming and you see all of this, wa these, this money that's being thrown, and usually what people do is they make, they say, make a wish, and then they'll go ahead and throw that money into the water fountain and then they'll feel like okay then God or whoever the they're praying they're praying to or many of these pagan rituals these concepts and they hope that their wish will be answered but in Islam the beautiful thing is that when we make a prayer it's only to God so you can take that money and no matter how small it is you can give it to the poor, you can give it in charity. And this is what God Almighty loves. This is what He loves, is when you take that and you use it for a benefit of humanity. And if you want to make a prayer, you pray for guidance, you pray for help from the Creator of the heavens and the earth. Not throwing money into the water, making a wish, and getting nowhere with it. Wasting money, and you actually destroy your good deeds. So make sure you pray only to the Creator of the heavens and earth, directly alone. That's the pure monotheism. And as, as small as an example as that is, as the penny throw or the quarter throw, the money throw into the pond, into the fountain, that's a sign in and of itself, the yearning that the human being has to connect with something outside of this temporal world. And what all we're saying is, and what we're saying is shift that from something artificial, something fake, that's not gonna really produce anything positive for you. Shift that, that need, that desire, that want, to the one who created you. And that makes sense. And ask for guidance. Ask the creator of the heavens and earth, why am I here? What's my purpose? Where am I going when I die? Because those are the three crucial questions that the human being needs to really ponder, reflect, and seek to wanna know. How did we get here? Why are we here? And where are we going when we die? Now you're really. Have. Now you're I have. You're gonna check it out. Yes, sir. There All you right. go. The Dean Show. Yeah, have a go, guys. Take All right, care. Take care.